LDBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And shout out to 10 Players News. And 10 Players know exactly why I'm shouting them out. They just told me not to tell why, but they know why I'm shouting them out. Shout out to 10 Players. Uh, you know, folks, listen, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Richard Schaefer, you know, I told y'all, I made a video about maybe five, six months ago. And I told y'all that Richard Schaefer is just waiting in the winds, y'all. He was waiting in the winds to make a move. Well, Richard Schaefer done already started his promotional company with the Bane. He sounded about Darius Brothers, man. Those are those are good talents, man. I mean, Richard Schaefer ain't playing no games. He's not playing. And I'm going to tell you something right now. He's going to be in direct competition with Golden Boy. He, he is. He's going to be in direct competition. You can even look at Richard Schaefer logo, man. It almost looked like the Golden Boy logo just with a star. And, you know, as soon as I saw that, I said, well, Richard Schaefer going to he going to give the stick. And I'm talking about he going to give the stick to Oscar De La Hoya, y'all. That's just how it is, okay? Um, see, Richard Schaefer and Oscar De La Hoya, they fell out, man, because De La Hoya wanted to work with Bob Arum again. And Schaefer was like, nope, <laughs> I ain't working with no Bob Arum. And I guess Schaefer had his reasons, man. I guess he had his own reasons why he don't want to fool with Bob Arum, you know? And, you know, a lot of us were wanting, you know, uh, you know, a lot of us were wanting to see some of the fights. So, yeah, we was all like, yeah, 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 let's see some of those fights, man. You know, I hope Oscar and Bob can work that stuff out because I wanted to see some matchups. Well, then, you know, all the fighters defected <laughs> from Golden Boy. They all defected. And, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, honestly, man, his stable of fighters are looking this kind of thin, man. I guarantee y'all, listen now, this is a bold prediction, this is a bold statement, but I'm going to make it anyway. Richard Schaefer has his eyes on Canelo. I guarantee you. I can promise you that Richard Schaefer is, is using every resource he got in his arsenal to try to figure out how to get Sol Canelo Alvarez under his stable. I bet you he is. And this is good for boxing. Richard Schaefer back in the game. This is good for boxing because, you know, Richard Schaefer has a good relationship with Al Heyman. He has a great relationship with Floyd Mayweather. OK, they have a good relationship. He got a good relationship with Eddie Hearn. Him and Eddie Hearn are cool, you know, and I think him and Tom Loeffler are pretty cool. This is good for boxing. So now it's, it's almost like Golden Boy and Top Rank, they're kind of sitting on the edge, man. And it's like all these matches that's going to get made and these two promotional companies are going to kind of get left out in the cold. They're going to get left out. And I'm telling you, Richard Schaefer is a thorn in the side of Oscar De La Hoya. And he's going to keep every time Oscar look up. Richard going to be trying and Richard going to be signing the fighters <laughs> that he's supposed to get. And I'm sure Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy. Matter of fact, they did try to sign about their brothers. Oscar, they tried to get him and they went to Richard Schaefer. They just said they felt comfortable <laughs> with Richard. And Richard Schaefer is a kind of guy, man. You know, everybody know he's a businessman. But if you listen to Richard talking, if you sitting in the room with Richard Schaefer. Hey, yeah. Hey, whatever you want. Yeah, I. Richard Schaefer will put you at ease. He'll put you like, dang, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm with that. Okay, Richard. He'll put you at ease. I would be comfortable with Richard Schaefer. And, and you know, dude kind of shysty. But I'd be comfortable because he has to gift the gab. Even when he was promoting fights for Golden Boy, Richard Schaefer had to gift the gab. I would, I would actually listen to him speak at these, because he was like, just like, you know, helping build the fight. <laughs> He's a good promoter. Richard Schaefer is good at what he does, y'all. That's just the way that is. I can't knock him. But I do got to make a comment. You know, he got one dude, you know, talking about, well, yeah, man, well, you know, the reason why PBC is so successful is because of Richard Schaefer. And I'm like, what? Richard Schaefer ain't promoting no PBC events. And, you know, see, this is the logic. Richard Schaefer, you know, everybody was rumored that he was going to start working for Floyd Mayweather. No, nah, Richard Schaefer is a man, a businessman. And trust me, he got sick and tired of being told what to do with Golden Boy. Richard Schaefer started his own piece, and this dude now is doing what he do. I guarantee you, y'all y'all might not like this. A lot of y'all ain't going to like it. But I'm going to tell you, Al Heyman, Richard Schaefer, it's on and popping. They're going to start locking out some of these other companies, man. They're going to start putting on these fights. And I'm telling y'all, Golden Boy, y'all, we're going to see Golden Boy take more hits. Because some of them same fighters... That uh, Golden Boy, they were trying to get a hold of in top rank. They're not going to get those fighters, but more or less Golden Boy. I mean, just look. Look at Richard Schaefer's logo, man. It's almost like he mocking Golden Boy. 
because those logos look real similar. And I'm like, oh, man, I said, this is going to get real interesting, OK? And I think Richard Schaefer is a better businessman than Oscar. I think he does a better job than Oscar De La Hoya. I think so. I mean, haven't y'all noticed, man, when Richard Schaefer left Golden Boy, the company really hadn't been the same? I mean, you know, bless Canelo because he got loyalty, man. But after a while, man, that loyalty run out, man. That loyalty run out. I can hear Richard Schaefer telling Canelo now, hey, you want me to clip that uh, $8 million for you? You come sign with me, Canelo. Yeah. Yeah. I could hear him saying something like that. I could hear him saying it. But then, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's all just business. But congratulations to Richard, Richard Schaefer. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Richard Schaefer. I like Richard Schaefer. And I know that he's going to try to put on some of the best fights. I know he's going to try to do it. Because at Golden Boy, I'm not even dissatisfied with him, man. He, he put on some pretty good fights while he was at Golden Boy. He did. Um, and I think that now he's his own boss. I think now that he's going to, you know, definitely be making some matches. <laughs> him working with Golden Boy is probably not going to happen. <laughs> I can tell you that. Because Golden Boy worked with Top Rank and Richard Schaefer ain't really trying to work with Bob Arum like that. So, nah. But I can tell you, man, Richard Schaefer in the game, back in. This is good for boxing, but this is really, really bad for Golden Boy Promotions. And folks, that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.